Coach Yang, you played before. Yeah. Uh, in, in high school? I played high school, of course, for La Salle varsity team. And in college, I played for UP. Mm -hmm. And then I played PABL before. Yeah. No, but I didn't get to the pro, pro ranks. After that, I decided I'm not going to make the PBA anyway. Mm -hmm. So I was too small. I didn't have enough talent or I was not athletic enough. I decided to get a real job. Oh. A real job, which is uh, uh, my first job was at the Department of Agriculture. Oh, okay. So, but what happened was, uh, uh, Joey Concepcion formed this PB PA PABL team then. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joey and I were teammates in that PABL team. And he said, can you, even while you're working, can you be assistant coach for our team, the, the SWIFT team then? Uh, I did not want to get out of basketball. I still wanted to be involved. Mm -hmm. So I found a way to fix my schedule where I can get a... Uh, I mean, I can do my job and still be able to, to coach yeah. as assistant coach to Coach Turo, oh, Coach okay. Turo Valenzona. That's where I started. And what happened was, for one reason or another, Coach Turo was not able to coach one season. I coached. We won a championship. And then Joey Concepcion decided to apply for the pro leagues. Uh -huh. He got accepted and he took me in from the PABL team to the SWIFT team. Because of your success in the PABL? Probably because my dad and his dad were close friends, so we had oh. connections. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that's no, it. That <laughs> which is very important now. <laughs> we actually served on the board together in the PABL. Yeah. I yeah, represented right. Ignolia that's and he right. represented Swifts. That's yeah, how yeah. far we go back. Yeah. Wow, you represented yeah. the board. Yeah, with both of us, yes. Oh, right. wow. Okay. So uh, that's the way it started. Then from then on, that was in 1990. 1990. Yeah, and uh, I actually started coaching very young in the PBA. I think I was 29, 29 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. And half of my players were older than I was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's another difficult <laughs> problem that you have to manage uh, in that situation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we did some research, Coach Yang, and uh, it says that you own the distinction of being one of the coaches who got traded. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true? I don't know if you can trade coaches, but that's not really accurate. But it looked like I got traded. Okay, no, can you that's tell not us a story really about accurate. that? Yeah. But uh, what happened was I was with Swift Team, okay. and then uh, my contract expired. Okay. Uh, uh, I was not sure if the company was going to renew my contract. Mm -hmm. And I got an offer from Pepsi. Mm -hmm. So I decided uh, I'll take the offer. And the problem then was, it's not a problem actually. Coach Derek Pumaren was with Pepsi at that time. Yeah. So I did not even know that he was going to be uh, offered the job also by, by Swift. Ah, uh, okay. I so see. what looked like a trade wasn't really a trade. I, I remember <laughs> that team very well, the Pepsi team. That of was a course, very, very course, strong team because course, uh, I was part of that team. <laughs> you are our starting center then, of course. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, we won any games. <laughs> okay. All right, we have a question for everybody. Now, um, what was the biggest coaching decision you had to make, Coach Nani? <laughs> oh, that's a, the hardest decision every single year is who to keep and who to cut. Yeah, because uh, that's of our relationships. The thing that's that we always struggle with as coaches. Mm -hmm. um, it's the hardest part of the job. It's yeah. the worst moment for a coach to be yeah. able to have to tell a player that he's going to be released and he's uh -huh. not going to be in the team anymore, especially coming from somebody who was released a few times in my career. <laughs> um, every year, that's what I struggle with. Uh -huh. uh, that last guy that's not going to make the team. Yes, uh, every, every year that happens. Yeah, I think I still remember our talk when you released me. I think that was us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you also, you <laughs> also released me. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about uh, a young coach like uh, you, Coach Nash? Same thing with uh, Coach Norman, uh, especially having, especially when you have a lot of uh, veteran players. Mm -hmm. So, as much as I can, I'd like to have uh, a good mixture of veterans mm -hmm. and and uh, young players. Yeah. So, but it, it's always a struggle when you have to choose between one player and yeah, this other yeah. player, and that especially when you know that all of them are all capable. So, aside from what they said. No, I'll just give you a particular example. Mm -hmm. Of course, you struggle with 
the players' futures because they yeah. really depend yeah. on you. You sign them to a contract or you trade them, that's right. and that's really difficult. It does not make it any easier, yeah. uh, e even as the years go by. Mm -hmm. Indeed, yeah. It doesn't get easier. Mm -hmm. But lately, about two years ago, I, I came from uh, Rain or Shine. Yeah. We've had a really good relationship with the owners, with the players. We've been successful with that with yeah. that team. And then came NLEX and they they asked me if I could join them. Mm -hmm. That was really a struggle for me oh, no, yeah. at the start. So I, I, I really uh, thought about that and prayed about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, I came obviously to the de decision to join NLEX. But to me, that's probably one of the most difficult decisions mm -hmm. I've ever made.